Welcome or welcome back to my Lobotomy Corporation Bedtime Story Reading. This is Hitori, and I will be helping you fall asleep with some ambient audio and awesome OST from our favorite game, as I learn more about Lobotomy Corporation's abnormalities. In the last video, we read about the Scorch Girl. This time, we will be reading about the Luminous Bracelet. This is now the 36th abnormality you have read about. Check the entire playlist on the card on the upper right of this video. Let's begin. Luminous Bracelet 0-09-95 It's a test tool abnormality in the form of a black bracelet with a hexagonal blue-green gem that emits a light of the same color around it. It is contained in a tank, floating in the middle when not in use. Ability Luminous Bracelet is an equipable tool abnormality. When equipped by an agent, they will be healed, have their stats, will be altered, and potentially be killed instantly if the tool is misused. The equipped employee's HP or fortitude is increased by 15 as long as the tool is equipped and recovers 2.4 points of HP after 3 seconds. After that, the luminous bracelet will no longer heal. There are two ways the abnormality can instantly kill an agent. Overheal 15 seconds after equipping the bracelet, a 60 second long timer will start. The timer stops and resets every time the agent's HP falls slower than their max HP. However, if the agent's HP is full for the 60 second duration, the employee will be killed instantly, with the lumps of overgrown cells emerging from their mouth, eyes, ears, and arms. After the employee's death, the tool will be returned to its containment. Punishment for Greed The agent dies in the same way as above if they return the abnormality without having full HP. Ending the day can also kill the agent if their HP is not full. Log End Method Depending on the interaction amount, Log End Method will be unlocked. The interaction amount needed is as follows 10 seconds, 60 seconds, 120 seconds, and 180 seconds. Log A bracelet that gives off a soft turquoise light. Many unexplainable things have been discovered in the outskirts. When it is worn, all wounds are healed without a trace of scarring. However, to wear this bracelet, even when one has not a scratch left on their body, is an act of greed. This bracelet shall not forgive those who hold greed in their hearts. Thus it must only be worn by those in true need. Method Stats regarding fortitude will greatly increase while Luminous Bracelet is worn. Luminous Bracelet continually recovers the wearer's HP when it drops. The wearer will die if any attempt to return the Luminous Bracelet is made before they are fully healed. If the wearer's HP has not dropped after a certain period of time, then they will die from excessive regeneration. Trivia This abnormality and the heart of aspiration are the only mounting type tools to increase fortitude. Contrary to what the methods say, the luminous bracelet does not heal employee when their HP drops, but instead heals a small amount only when first equipped. 
Oh my god. So you don't really... I thought this was going to be like a regen type of item abnormality where if you are equipping it and then you go out and attack some ordeal or maybe an escape abnormality and then you get damaged then it will continually heal you right like a regen ring or something but apparently in the trivia it says that it does not heal when their hp drops it only heals a small amount when first equipped i haven't actually tried out wearing this abnormality while fighting because i always thought that what if while they're walking around it would take me more than 60 seconds to go there and they would die. So I never really wore this ring before during a fight. But if you have tips or other interesting details about this abnormality, please comment about it down below. If you like, you can also catch my stream in Twitch and here on YouTube so that you can assist me if you're a veteran in the game. If you want more Project Moon content from me, Please don't hesitate to like the video, and you can also support me further in my Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe. I would like to thank my current Patreon supporters that are shown on the screen, as well as my Twitch subscribers. I want to always let you know that I appreciate everything you do for me, truly. This thanks is also extended to you who is currently watching. Anyway, until next time, I hope you rest easy.